What's up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube exclusive. I'm your host, Drew, and my other host right over there. What's up? It's D. Good to see you again. Uh, we are actually going to be touching base on Rogers. Discount double check Rogers. But before we get into that, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date because we're pumping out content like crazy. Yeah, and I'm uh, traveling right now, so I hope my audio doesn't sound too terrible. How do I sound over there? It sounds good. Let's get it. All right. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to start today with Aaron Rodgers. It's looking like possibly he's going to the New York Jets. Do you think it's going to happen or do you think his plan is going to fall through and he's going to end up on the Packers? He might end up somewhere else. What do you think is going to happen? I think the Packers are dead ass just tired of Aaron Rodgers. It seems like there is no like ill will or like bad blood between Rodgers and the Packers or Packers fan base and Rodgers, but it's just kind of to the point where it's run its course. Um, I know at the end of last year, there was a lot of like almost like kind of discourse within that locker room. And it just felt like when people were done, it was like, Oh, thank God. Like, all right, this is just over. Like, I think the relationship is is ended and now it's time to move forward. I know the main like you know who's actually gone out and visited Rodgers and is really pushing for it is the the Jets, but um you know, you know the league year is coming up next week. Who really does make that push to solidify their, you know, stake in the Aaron Rodgers game? Yeah, I mean and I think for the Jets too it's make or break with the Aaron Rodgers thing because they kind of have put themselves in a position to where if they don't get Aaron Rodgers now, who will they get? Like, they're going to be very desperate to get Aaron Rodgers at this point because what they get Jimmy G, um, they just roll back out Zach Wilson, Mike White, if they don't get Aaron Rodgers. So I think their backup is really up against the wall in this situation. And Mike White's a free agent. So really, you'd have to go with Zach Wilson, who you fucking benched and wasn't even the second string, was the third string, was in street clothes. He was Anthony Davis last year. So, yeah, they're talking about Zach Wilson being the third string in San Francisco because he's training with Trey Lance right now. So you really want to roll that guy back out? That's how bad of a whiff it is. But if you don't get Aaron, you need Aaron Rodgers at this point. Because if you don't get Aaron Rodgers, who's going to step into there and like, even if it was a Jimmy G, I think Derek Carr really dodged a bullet by not going with the Jets. Um, because whoever steps in there, that fan base is going to be looking at them like it should have been Rodgers. No matter what you do, if you don't win a ring, everyone's going to be calling for it should have been Rodgers. Fuck you. You're a bum. Like, that fan base is just notoriously, like, they will turn on quarterbacks and they're already going in with one leg out if you are not Aaron Rodgers. Well, if you're Aaron Rodgers, you're already going in with the fan base, basically counting you out and saying like, well, we paid you all this. You better bring us Super Bowl Aaron Rodgers because you are the hype. Like you're everything that we've been waiting for. And if you play bad, if you play how you played last year in Green Bay, then this fan base is going to be it's going to be ruthless and, and the media. But I think it's like the perfect combo of like a superstar quarterback who really kind of doesn't care what the media says, but also I will, he, he has no like, like uh, he really doesn't care as far as like retorting back either. Hey, I'm going to say my opinion. This is it. If like, and then he kind of blocks out the noise. Like he'll say, he will like, Hey, I'm going to say my word put up the wall and it's like, Oh, okay. Like that makes sense. And I think that he would do really well and kind of thrive off that shit because he is a, a very competitive dude when it comes down to it. Yeah. He's a little bit wonky and weird, but when it comes to on the football field and people doubting his abilities, he really does carry a chip on his shoulder. So I think he actually might thrive in that New York market. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen other, I, I mean, I, I see your take on saying like he does kind of just, do his own thing and keep his head down. But I have seen other, you know, people saying that it's the opposite of he does care what like the media says and he gets upset. He gets annoyed. Um, he's like a little diva ish when it comes to that kind of thing. And if you think about the comparison of the green Bay media market 
compared to the New York media market, like this guy's had a cakewalk and he's been kind of a brat to the media. And uh, yeah, there's been like the media pushes back on him and they try to like run false stories and try to say like state their piece on things that they don't know what they're saying because he does keep everything so tight uh Close locked to the in best, within, yeah. yeah within his uh circle and so there is reason but imagine now the new york media who are ruthless who will go after you and question you after the game and push the circumstance so can he handle that and can he keep it together for a full season and then if he doesn't like it, does he just walk away after one season? And is that worth it? Mm, if you win a ring, yes. If not, you put all your chips on the table. I mean, look at what the Rams did. The Rams put it all on the line. They won a ring. But can you say, like, you know, a couple years removed, it's worth it? They're already looking to shop out Matthew Stafford, and they've blown up their defense. So, you know what I mean? You kind of you got to swing for the fences when you have the chance just to get that ring. And a ring in New York? means more than in other markets than in green bay than in you know what I mean? um, even chicago at this point chicago would just be fucking super grateful just to have a shot at like winning the division they don't give a fuck i think if you win the chip it's all worth it but who knows but do you think that like how good of a chance do the jets have with aaron Rodgers at quarterback in an afc with mahomes burrow Trevor Lawrence, Herbert, like the list goes on. Josh Allen, it just keeps going on. Like, where does Aaron Rodgers rank and all that? And can he beat two or three of these guys in a row? I think they automatically become like contenders. I don't know. They're not the number one contender. But they're not like out of it by any means. The team was good. They made it to the playoff or they made a really good push last year with basically no quarterback so you're not telling me if they run it back with all those pieces and then add in Aaron Rodgers and then you know with that you bring Aaron Rodgers free agents who are going to want to be in New York with Aaron Rodgers to make a push we've seen it even just last year with Buffalo Vaughn Miller wanted to get a part of that so like I think there's going to be a couple of like look at all of the Eagles defense have just fuck is gone you know what I mean so there's pieces. Darius Smith has been cut by the Vikings. He played with Rodgers in Green Bay. You don't think he would want to go out there? So there's like also things that come with an Aaron Rodgers as far as the, the gravity of the situation and being but contenders. There, there, there's also negatives that come with Aaron Rodgers because how committed is he really? Like, is he going to do an offseason program to really connect with these young receivers and his offense? Because he didn't do that in Green Bay. And that really hurt them to start the season. And that's what fucked up their flow. And they they had to learn on the fly during the season of like the timing and like how to work well together. And if he comes to a new team, is he, I don't think he's going to do like, hey, everyone, let's meet on the beach and work out like Top Gun. Like, let's, let's get this team started. And I think he's going to wait till training camp. And by then it's like, Everyone already has a, a step above you because they're in the AFC. They have their teams for years. And then they're another step above you because they work out together in the offseason. And Aaron Rodgers is going to show up and just expect everyone to obey him. You're on your best behavior when you go to someone's house, right? When someone comes over, you don't really care. He's like, it's your house. You can do whatever you want. That's what he had in Green Bay. It was his house. He built this. He was like, I won chips here. I made us like I I own the fucking Bears. Like, this is it. He's going to New York, and this is an offense that was already kind of established and kind of feeling good about themselves. If you're know, if you a guest, you kind of, you know, at least when you're first meeting someone for the first time, you kind of do all those things that a guest would do. You, you know, take your shoes off. You, like, shake everybody's hand. You do all those things. So I think that first offseason, he would act like a guest and, like, really do the training. That's your best shot. You got to do it year one if you're the Jets. I think I don't think that's how I see it. I think he's not a guest in someone else's house. I think he's an employee showing up to work and just looking to clock in and collect his salary. Like if you're on salary, 
and you hate your job, you're just there when you need to be there. Like you ain't going to put in extra hours and you're not going to go over the top. What did he say when he was talking about continuing playing? He wanted, he thinks he can win another MVP. He didn't say, man, if I got the right system and the right team around me, I think I'd win a Super Bowl. Like who, who's thinking of, oh, I'm going to get paid and I'm going to get MVP and is like all about the team putting an extra effort. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what your due diligence is on these trips when you are the Jets. If he is just a me first diva, like everyone is saying, you don't take that shot. You anything you go and you visit Lamar Jackson on the way home. That's what you should do. Like realistically, if you if you have a bad taste in your mouth from Aaron Rodgers, if you go ahead and pivot and just pay Lamar Jackson mega money, give up two first round picks, I would even trade away fucking. <laughs> Zach Wilson, give him that and be like, hey, go ahead and have at it. But that's your next move if you're the New York Jets. You pivot and you go and you get after Lamar Jackson. And we're going to talk about Lamar in a different clip. So we're just going to cut this one here. But let us know in the comments, do you think Aaron Rodgers is going to the Jets? Do you think it's a good move? What would you guys do? Is there a All sleeper right. team on the on the prowl looking to get Aaron Rodgers? Does he stay with the Packers? There's so much shit that's really going to happen over this next week. So just drop drop your Aaron Rodgers conspiracy theory in the comments. And like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Later.